Good morning, everybody, and what a belting day for it. This is lovely. Welcome back to Visit File Coast. A little bit of a strange one today. We're going to do a walking tour of the tableaus at North Cliff. But this is actually a walking tour in daylight. So if you're familiar with Blackpool, you'll know that I'm actually stood at the crossroads at the top of Red Bank Road. That, straight in front of us, being Red Bank Road. So this is the promenade, looking that way to Cleveland. And this is the tram stop station where you can get your hop and stuff and such like. And straight across the road is chips, fish, chips, drinks, food, ooh, yum, yum, yum. Um, get your hot dogs and your candy floss at that stall over there and I can vouch for that. That's a, that's a cracker, that one. And the reason that I'm starting here is because the illuminations tableau this year are one way. It might not have escaped your notice, but we've got a thing called coronavirus. So this year, you will need to start at this end. You must come to this end here and walk that way south. So I'm going to walk just up to there and then we'll rejoin it when we get to the tableaus. I didn't cut much of a corner off, did I? I thought I might speed your video up a little bit and cut the, cut the walking out. So that's the beautiful view by daylight of the Irish Sea and the, the lovely even, evening view as the sun goes down. Obviously when you're looking at the illuminations, you're not going to see that because it's going to be dark. So we're going <coughs> one way in this direction. There are signs everywhere saying please keep your distance, please keep two metres. These are the lovely teddy bears. I really like the teddy bears. And you can sit here and you can have your picture taken with an Isle of Black Bull teddy bear. If you're small enough, you can get on his knee. And you can get all the family in the middle. And then you can sit there and you can have your pictures taken. And the trees light up and that looks really lovely at night. So please pop your photos of yourselves a la selfie with teddy bears in the Visit File Coast Facebook group. <clears throat> and then we can share them and we can all have a look at them. So we're going to have a walk along the cliff. I'll go over here and then we might be able to get them in frame because they're all big. By definition, they're all big. So these are the tableaus. So <clears throat> you've got your fish and chips and you've got your candy floss. And we're going to go for a walk along the, the top of the, the footpath. So this is the pirate's tableau and this has been restored this year and you can see at the top there that it's got Coral Island in lights and Coral Island as you've probably guessed have sponsored that this year <coughs> so that lights up and the, the pirates move about and it looks all lovely oh and look it's the pirate that's on the front of the Coral Island amusements in Blackpool so that's one which is your which is your favourite? I think the Four Seasons are probably mine. I love these. I think they're really nice. Beautiful big smiley faces. Obviously spring at the other end, summer, autumn and this lovely blue one is winter. So we've shuffled on a little bit and we're at spring now. I took some photographs of spring not long after it being installed and it was a really dreary day. Got some nice photographs of the, the um, lamps or some nice close-ups. So this is the Enchanted Garden. And we're gonna take a walk through here because this is another, this is another selfie spot. So all these trees light up. This is Postman Pat, look, and he's got a letter for the illuminations. Isn't he lovely? Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Now, what was his cat called? Can you remember? I can remember what his cat was called. My granddad used to like watching Postman Pat when he was sort of like in his late retirement years. He loved watching that. He didn't have Alzheimer's or anything like that. He just liked Postman Pat. That's Dora. Dora the Explorer. She's off on a, off on a jolly. And we've got a Spaceman. And SpongeBob SquarePants. Are you impressed by my knowledge of children's? children's um, cartoons. 
And this is an eel bench that's been done this year by the Lancashire Federation of Women's Institute. And that lights up at night as well. So that's another nice one for the, the self in here, sooty. We all love sooty, don't we? We all love sooty. It's just sooty underneath it, so you know it's sooty. Exit only, don't forget, all one way. <clears throat> so these Dalek-y looking things, like this this one here with the, the globe on top, they look a little bit weird in daylight, and there's the, the screen. They're actually projectors. And they were designed and developed by the illuminations department so that they work and withstand all the horrible weather that they get when they're out here exposed on the cliffs. It's a beautiful day today. But what day was it? It was Friday. Thursday, Friday. The weather was absolutely awful. We obviously pick our times when we come out and do videos because you don't want to be seeing things in grim weather um, but goodness me it was it was rough um, you might have seen our vlog with a view about illuminations weather it's a standing joke that when the lights go on the weather turns so there are some gaps in between the lights for you to get to the cliff and back and there's the sea look between the gap and you can see that these big tableaus are all installed on big metal poles um, and anybody that's local or that visits Blackpool a lot will know that these big metal poles go up and down every year with startling regularity you'll see them better when we get to the talking head section just down here so they go up and down every year and the illuminations team put them out and take them down and put them out and take them down year after year after year. And they provide this, the skeleton for the lights to be fastened to. As you can see, it's a, it's a popular cycling track as well down here. So these are, these little square pictures of the talking heads you'll be able to see a little bit better when we get nearer up to them what they are but you can see the poles clearly on this one so each of the tableaus and the features has got a separate um a separate set of, pi of displays pictures controls switches projectors panels you name it all the oh that's i think that's robbie williams if it's not it looks like him that one, that one there, right in the middle, middle left, looks like Elton John, Robbie Williams and a donkey, I don't know what that bottom left one is, but these are the talking heads sections so there are quite a lot of actual proper local people within this section who have sent in their pictures you can actually have have a picture of yourself put up in in this section I can see Elfin Moore <laughs> I've tried to do this video quite early because obviously for a walking tour of the illuminations in the daylight you need you need the light on the front of it You need the light on the front of it so that you can actually see what you're looking at. Um, and the sun's coming around a little bit faster than I thought it might do. Because the, the, the days are getting that bit shorter, aren't they, at the moment with the, with the weather changing. And here comes a tram. Bonus, I just hope you can uh, get that without me having to blind you. He's on his way to Fleetwood Ferry obviously that way and then at this point here I don't know whether at night you can carry straight on I think it looks like they might have closed closed the gate there um, because I know it's been it's been very busy on the on the cliffs um, and obviously people need to keep apart and socially distanced so 
we'll just look at them at that point. This is the tramway, Blackpool tramway. So Blackpool's in that direction. You can just see that I can just see the top of the tower. Don't think you will. And this is the donation point. So on the highway, cars are asked to stop. There's another one at the other end at South Promenade as well. Cars are asked to stop. You can see that there's a a little cabin there with donation point on it. There's another one here, and you're asked to stop and make a contribution towards the cost of the illuminations. It's obviously a free show, but it costs a significant amount of money every year to stage, and the, the donations from members of the public actually contribute a lot towards managing to keep keep the show on the road so the, the the lights carry on as far as just organize myself just a second the lights carry on as far as the cabin lift so obviously now we're at the side of the main road so I'm just hoping that the noise of the traffic is not too loud because they are it is a busy road this and it is quite noisy so that's the recycling tableau. Sutty's a little bit further up, I think. I've just walked walked down in this direction to see to see what's where because the position of them is moved each year as well. videos going up and down like lightning but it, it seems to be bouncing ever such a lot on this on the viewfinder apologies if it is so that's the big green recycling one and the one that we're coming up to next is the Alice Tableau so the Alice Tableau had been up for, for quite some years um, and in 2010 it had suffered from really quite severe storm damage so the Houndsdale Shopping Centre sponsored its restoration and uh, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen Lawrenceified it as he puts it um, and it was replaced in 2014 and originally you might remember that it has a little garden around the front of it but that's why the illuminations are brought in over the months of winter because because of the, the weather and because of the risk of damage obviously these big features act like a sail so they, they, they sort of sat on the top of a high exposed point the, the weather is usually prevailing westerly southwesterly so they sat on a high point with a, a wind coming straight on at it and you can imagine that they're, they're very vulnerable to damage and over the years there have been quite a few of them that have been quite badly damaged which is why they're all they're all taken in over winter just straighten myself up a little bit so here we've got noddy and big ears I like that one myself I always had a thing for noddy <laughs> Sesame. This next white one that we're just coming up to was sponsored by the Elgin Hotel. Um, obviously their, their name is reminiscent, reminiscent of the Elgin Marbles. So they sponsored that and, and uh, refurbished it two or three years ago. And it still looks really nice. So we walk round the outside of the tram stop. So we're at the Lowther Avenue tram stop now. Oh, there's another tram coming. 
so I was like, it's going straight through where it makes a full one. Oh no, it's not, it's stopping. It's just at the side of me. And this is sooty and sweet. So there's so much of it out. Oh, is there Puppet Master? And, and sooty and sweet at the other end. And it looks like Sooty's having a bit of an adjustment. This is one of the big vans that the Black Boy Illuminations team use. So, oh, maybe jump then. <laughs> That's the jam. <laughs> this is one of the big lorries that the Illuminations team use to adjust the um, lights. So they've got their own their own uh, vehicles that have got cranes and lifting equipment and one thing and another. So it looks like Sutty is having a bit of tender loving care. And here's the haunted house. And then the last couple of static panels. And then the illuminations obviously carry on along Blackpool Promenade. There's a Spitfire next stop at Gin Round. Gin, sorry, I nearly said it. At Gin Roundabout. Um, I'll show you these. So, my next assignment this morning is to go and make an, another video in Blackpool Town Centre. We're going looking for diggers. So I bet you can guess where I'm off to. Given the fact that it's September 2020. So you can just see Blackpool Tower there. Right in centre shot. At the back of the illuminations. So don't forget, if you've not already done so, make sure that you subscribe to the Visit Foul Coast YouTube channel. Hit that bell for notifications and then you'll get all the alerts of all the videos that we've made as they're uploaded and put online. And don't forget to sign up for your weekly email newsletter as well because we send out loads of information every week that's all really interesting stuff. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and we'll see you next time. Bye for now!